telling you. So I have been away from my New York apartment for nearly three months and I am really worried about it. This is the longest I've ever been away from home. I'm not only worried about break-ins, they made me get renter's insurance when I rented my apartment, which makes me think that I need it. And then after the pandemic had been going on for a while, I heard that there's a bunch of rat infestations in people's apartments because there's no people out dropping food like they normally do, so rats are getting more and more aggressive. I also have a friend recently in New York who lost her electricity, so I'm afraid that like my refrigerator just stopped working and there's just like food all over the floor that the rats could get to. And my mailbox is in that big and I get other people's mail all the time so I'm afraid that it's like full and like important mail is being sent back. I I'm just worried and I'm ready to check on it. <laughs> Things have gotten a little better in New York so we rented a car. I'm gonna go and make sure that everything's okay. I've had I have so much anxiety right now I'm just can't wait to get there and know that things are okay. We're just leaving, gonna get some gas. Uh, I think the estimation was that it was gonna take about five hours to get to New York. Yep, that's right. So hopefully we don't have too many problems. So we're filling up in Maryland. I was chatting with my friend on Facebook Messenger and she was telling me that she heard that there are travel restrictions in California, like only essential people are allowed. She lives in Madrid. And she said that in Madrid, you're only allowed to drive like one person per car or something. So a lot of restrictions, but I don't think we're going to have any problems. We've been from DC to Maryland to Virginia. So if the cops stop us, we'll deal with it. A small pit stop for the Lord's Chicky Sandwich. We still have three hours left. Uh, the sandwich is really good. The line was really long. Apparently, it gets really long there. and everything looks okay actually no major issues there's just one issue the smoke alarm <laughs> seems to be running out of batteries and the one in the hall is too so I guess maybe someone else took off but that should be a relatively easy problem to fix so so far so good thank God I have to check my mail though back in New York City and I'm a little surprised that so many people are out and about and New York is full of people I know that and it's starting to reopen but still the idea of being really close to people and contracting COVID-19 is something that worries me. So I talked to my doctor online and she wrote me a script to get a COVID antibody test. My thinking is that I might have had very mild symptoms for the disease before. There were a couple times where I think I might have had COVID-19 and just didn't have strong symptoms and so I'm hoping this test will come back positive and even though there can be false positives for the test it'll make me feel a little more confident about going out still wearing a mask still social distancing and being able to travel more and get back to my normal life. So that 
was a complete failure. So I went to the address that I was supposed to for the COVID antibody test and it was a hospital and I asked at reception where to go for the Quest diagnostic test and they didn't know what I was talking about but they said antibody testing was on the seventh floor. I went to the seventh floor and I waited in a line for half an hour to get to the reception desk and then the reception person did not have my name on file, told me to wait five minutes for his manager to come. I waited an additional 45 minutes, so a total of an hour and 15 minutes just waiting in this waiting room with a bunch of people. The receptionist took his mask off at some point because I guess it was uncomfortable and I just felt like it was too much exposure for my comfort. It was too confusing. No one seemed to know who I was and I just got out of there. So I signed up to get a test at a different location. This one seems a little more promising and I'm not going to wait as long if no one knows what I'm talking about. So my second attempt to get a COVID antibody test was successful. The address I went to was very clear. I came in, I told them where I was going and they directed me and they seemed to know who I was and what I was doing. I was able to check in and get my blood drawn within minutes of checking in, which is awesome. And uh, I'll be getting my results soon. So I got my COVID antibody test results back a little over a day after I got my blood drawn, which is amazing, but the results came back negative, which means that I've never had COVID-19 and I don't have antibodies or immunity to COVID-19. Now this test can have false negatives, but I'm inclined to believe the results because all the times I thought I might have had COVID-19, it could have been allergies, and it could have been other things. The symptoms were not that strong. And so that means I'm still at risk of contracting COVID-19, and I don't know how my body would react to the disease. And so it's something I really don't want to risk. But as New York is opening up, I do want to be able to go out more and explore more and travel more. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to see how I can do that without putting myself at risk, um, still social distancing, still wearing masks, and I'm looking forward to finding creative solutions to this conundrum. So if you're interested in joining me, please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when new videos are available. Until next time, bye.